In this corncast, we are going to review the rationalizing the denominator process. Now, the reason why we need to rationalize the denominator is that this is not in simple radical form. In order to write this in simple radical form, this square root 10 cannot be in the denominator. In example 1, we're going to rewrite this expression in simple radical form. What we need to do is we need to multiply this fraction by 1. We need to change this fraction in such a way to remove this radical from the denominator. But we really don't want to change its actual value. So what we're going to do is I know that if I multiply the square root of 2 by the square root of 2, that will get rid of my radical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the denominator by the square root of 2. The reason why this works is root 2 times root 2 is root 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. Now I can't just multiply an expression by square root of 2. I have to multiply this expression by 1. So in order to make this 1, I need to also multiply the numerator by square root of 2. And that's because the square root of 2 divided by the square root of 2 is 1. So really what I'm doing here is I'm multiplying this expression by 1. So I'm really just changing the way it looks. I'm not changing its actual value. So 1 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 2. Square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 4. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, we still have a radical in the denominator. Well, look what happens. Square root of 2 cannot be simplified any further, so we're going to be left with square root of 2 in our numerator. But the square root of 4 is 2. Now if you notice, we now no longer have a radical in our denominator. So this is our final answer. As in example 1, I'm going to rationalize the denominator to rewrite this expression in simple radical form. Just like in example 1, I need to multiply the denominator by something that's going to get rid of this radical. Well, I know the square root of 10 times the square root of 10 will give me the square root of 100, which is 10. So that will get rid of my radical in the denominator. And again, I need to multiply by 1 because I just want to change it the way it looks, but not its value. So I know that square root of 10 divided by the square root of 10 will give me 1. 2 times the square root of 10 is going to give me 2 root 10. Divided by, well, square root of 10 times the square root of 10 is the square root of 100, and the square root of 100 is 10. I now notice that I no longer have a radical in my denominator. So I have successfully rationalized the denominator. But before I end this problem right here, I now notice that I have a fraction 2 tenths. And I must always reduce my fractions. So 2 tenths reduces to 1 fifth. So 1 times square root of 10 is square root of 10 divided by 5. And that's my final answer for this particular example. In example 3, I notice that square root of 6 is in the denominator of my expression. So in order to rationalize this denominator, I need to multiply this expression by the square root of 6 divided by the square root of 6. Well, using what I know about multiplying of fractions, I know that I need to multiply my numerator times my numerator. And because I have a radical right here, I'm going to multiply the square root of 6 by 1 to make this process easier. Because I know when I multiply radicals, I know that I need to multiply the 4 times the 1, and then I need to multiply the square root of 5 times the square root of 6, which is the square root of 30. Divided by and then when I multiply fractions, I know that my denominator times my denominator, well, square root of 6 times the square root of 6 is 6. I have now successfully rationalized the denominator. I now need to take a second and simplify this as far as I can. Well, I notice that I have 4 6 right here. And that simplifies to 2 thirds. So 2 times the square root of 30 is 2 root 30 divided by 3. 
Before I decide this is my final answer, I'm going to see if I can simplify the square root of 30. So I'm going to go ahead and factor 30, which is going to be 2 times 15 and 3 times 5. And I notice that I don't have any pairs in my factors right here, so the square root of 30 is as simplified as it can be. So now I can say that this is my final answer for the simplification of this expression right here. I hope you've enjoyed the rationalizing the denominator process. That's it for simplifying radicals.